Hi, this is Parana and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to show you how space mission analytics work using natural language to explore data with Microsoft Power BI. So here you see that I have created a space mission analytics Power BI file. I am going to open the data for Power BI. So here I am going to get data for a space mission analysis. I'm going to connect this data. This is my space mission file. Uh, basically, this is the all space missions data from 1957 to August 2022. It includes detail on the location, date and results of the launch, uh, the company responsible and the name prices and the status of the rocket used for the mission. So while this data is loading, I will tell you that what is the data dictionary. So here I have the space mission. Then I have the company information who is responsible for the space mission. Uh, then the location of the launch, um, day time of the launch, rocket, name of the rocket, um, used for the mission and then the mission name, uh, rocket status, if it is um, active or inactive as of August 2022 and the cost of the rocket in millions of US dollar and mission status which is success failure, partial failure or pre-launch failure. Okay, so you see that my data is here. I just connected right now. So how I am going to do that? I don't want to use any manual visualization development. So here I will come and I will say QA. So you see that it created some nice Q&A question and answer by itself by looking at the data and it provides the analytics. So let's see. Uh, so those are the predefined uh, question and answer, right? So let's say what is the most recent space mission? If I click on it, it will give me the information that it was, you know, LC3 satellite launch center in China and uh, it was rocket status is still active. It was success and Friday, 20, July 29, 2022 and 29.75 million US dollar was used in it, right? So you see that, I mean, I am, and if I want, I can uh, use this visual um, and uh, pin it to my dashboard, but let's not do it right now. I'm going back to my question and answer, okay? So let's do that um, in a clean screen. So this is my predefined questions. Now I want to do that my own visual analytics. So let's see, I'm here. I am going to have so my own suggested questions, right? And then I want to build analytics using the, the plain English. So here, I mean, um, I'm thinking uh, to have something very uh, you know, intuitive that how have rocket launch trended across time? Has mission success rate increased or decreased, right? So let me write this and see that how, how have rocket launches trended across time right so so you see that it's giving me some result but uh, I, I don't want to have this so let me have um, uh, another question so the the which country or which state I would say Let's go by country. <laughs> Which country have had the most successful
you see that it's picking the uh, the keyword from the data and that I have to select this one, right? Or I have to rephrase or use the synonym. Uh, I can do the synonym setting as well. Space mission. So this is the question and it's telling me that um, that those are the most successful space by mission, right? So it, it tells me the, the the mission's name, right? So I'm going to add this question here, right? I'm going to save it. And when I will come back here, so you see that this question is my um, customized question is here. And now I am going to, when I double click on it, it will produce the data, okay? And if I want, I can uh, pin this and call it as a standard video. So this is pretty cool feature, right? So I don't really need to do anything. I just write my question and I customize it. So let's come back here and see what are the other uh, nice features uh, we can find. Um, so the another interesting one is the is the finding anomalies. So let me come here, right? And um, here, a new brand page, Q&A. So this is my questions. If I click on, uh, I'm going to configure some more questions. So here I can see, um, you know, I can evaluate and then I can suggest questions. Uh, let me find out, are there any patterns you can notice with the launch locations? So let's find out this. Are there any pattern with the launch location? So let's see what it gets. So it's telling me that pattern, so pattern, of course, you know, like we are talking about the space mission. So the pattern about the space mission, that's right. Uh, and see now it tells me the, the company time mission. And it, it's, it's telling me what is the pattern, right? So let's look at it. So and uh, notice notice what I meant to the notice. It's uh, like, let's say uh, the status, right? So. So here I can map the wording with the data sets. Okay. So here I'm going to save this and let's see if I can get in my suggestion set save. Close. So now, I mean, the, the two question which I have added, you can see, okay. And it's telling me some pattern by location that those are the companies, you know, pattern and uh, the mission status. Uh, so the, the, the interesting pattern what it find is the rocket status, right? Because most of them are retired. So let's uh, do some smart narrative here. And it says that we don't get support summarization for any of the selected visuals. Okay, it's just a notification. So now let's see, ask a question about your data. Okay, so here basically it, it makes some smart visual based on what you are asking. So I'm going to say which rocket has been used for the most of the space mission. Then it's giving me the result, right? So this is the answer, right? And then uh, I can do this review, I can change the value and uh, 
and this will be displayed as the data right so now okay so the next uh, very interesting feature in power bi is anomaly detection uh, anomaly detection basically it help you to enhance your line charts by automatically detecting anomalies in the time series data and it also provide explanation automatically for the anomalies to help with root cause analysis uh, with just a couple of clicks you know you can easily find insights without slicing and dicing the data you can create and view anomalies in both power bi desktop and the power bi service um, so i am going to show you something really quick which will explains how the anomaly detection works Anomaly detection helps you enhance your line charts by automatically detecting anomalies in your time series data. It also provides explanations for these anomalies to help with root cause analysis. Let's look at the stage where we have some information about the online sales data. I can add the anomaly detection capability on this line chart showing revenue over time by selecting the chart and adding the find anomalies option in the analytics pane. With just this one click, the chart gets automatically enriched with anomalies and the expected range of values. As you can see, whenever a value goes outside this expected boundary, it is marked as an anomaly. This experience is highly customizable. You can format the anomaly shape, for example, the anomaly size, the color, the expected range style, transparency, and even the expected range color. You can also configure the parameter of the algorithm. For example, if you increase the sensitivity, the algorithm would be very sensitive to changes in your data, such that even if there is a slight deviation, then it is marked as an anomaly. On the other hand, if you decrease the sensitivity, the algorithm would be more selective on what is marked as an anomaly. You can also automatically explain these anomalies by just clicking on them. For example, for this anomaly on August 30th, Power BI runs its analysis across the fields in my data model to figure out the possible explanations. It gives me a natural language explanation of the anomaly. Here I can see that on August 30th, the revenue is 5000 whereas the expected range was between $2,000 and $3,000. And the factors associated with my anomaly is sorted by the explanatory strength. The cards in this pane can be opened to see more details about the explanation. You can also control the fields that are used for the analysis. For example, I can drag in a couple of my fields and online sales data here into the explain by field well. So if I drag in city and seller, Power BI restricts the analysis to just those fields. In this case, the anomaly on August 30th seems to be coming from a particular seller and city. I can also choose to add this special to my report. This visual basically shows that there was a spike in revenue for Northern traders at the same time on August 30th, where there was a spike in the overall revenue. Now I can contact the seller and see what's going on with the revenue. In just a couple of clicks, the new anomaly detection capability made it super easy to find these insights without slicing and dicing the data.